and in my opinion, won the round. You ready? Two rounds to nothing in Let's my go. eyes for Minotaur. You know, it's pretty obvious after watching some of the punches that Randy Couture has landed tonight that that staph infection was a huge deterrent to Minotaro in the fight against Frank Mir because Randy has landed some seriously solid shots and another one there. Well, I've had a staph infection in the past and it was never one that was so bad that I had to get hospitalized, but it makes you incredibly weak. And then the antibiotics weaken you even further. Plus, his knee was all jacked up. Yeah. Good right hand by Minotaro. Minotaro pushing forward. He and his brother both oh, punched Randy's down. Randy's down. No, Garrett trying to finish. On top of the action. Randy's doing a good job of covering up. Unbelievable, the heart of this Hall of Famer. What a great performance by Nogueira. Yeah, Nogueira is putting a beating on Randy Couture. Now let's see if he tries to pass. He's moved into half guard. And he's going to pop right out in the side control. This is the old Minotaro Noguera. Yeah, this is the Minotaro in shape, motivated, and healthy. And even though he's got a lot of miles on him, like we said, Joe, he's 33 years old. He's an animal. I mean, he's one of the greatest of all time. He has trained in the past with the Cuban national boxing team. You can see his striking very sharp tonight. Randy trying to hip escape, trying to get himself back to some sort of a guard. The Minotaur keeping him here in side control. Not landing anything big, but dominating the position. His defining moment was when he submitted Krokop. And he's tightening down on us. He was putting a forearm choke down on Randy. Or at least is one of his early defining moments, Joe. Minotaur looks like he's looking to mount. But he's got to be careful the way Randy's got his feet placed up against the cage. Randy's trying to roll him. The Hall of Famer. Randy's looking to try to get back onto his feet. He's struggling, but Minotaur is on him like glue. The Hall of Famer trying to get up one last time. He's, He's got to swing for the fences. He's got to be careful. Minotaro's got that over under. Has not been submitted in the octagon in his legendary career. Two minutes remains in the fight. Minotaro is very high on Randy's back here. He's got to be careful he doesn't get rolled over. He's got to scoot his hips back towards Randy's. And Randy realizes, it. see how he's pulling on that arm? He wants to get up, and he wants to try to shake him off the top. Minotaro, though, very crafty. Holding that double, the, the, the under overlock. Trying to slip that arm underneath the neck, and he's on the bottom. Randy Couture. You know the amazing thing, Brock Lesnar is next to us. And he's yelling instructions at the natural, Captain America. It's that wrestling fraternity. But Joe, he's got to finish this fight in the last minute, or he's going to lose the decision. There's not a whole lot of finishes from inside your opponent's guard, except maybe a no-arm Ezekiel choke. Randy landed a good elbow there. It's going to be tough to stop Minotaur on 30 seconds. Another elbow. I mean, this is a guy who's only been stopped once in 38 fights, and we talked about the illness he was fighting. So the chances of it happening here are very, very slim. Ten seconds remain. Five 
seconds. No! The no. two legends go the distance. Right at the end, Minotaur 